What's up, everybody? We are standing here at Wild Blue, which is officially open. And we are so excited to show you what's going on in this community, tell you a little bit about the builders. And after that, what are we gonna show them, Richard? We're gonna show you Shellstone, which is right down the street. Yes, Shellstone being built by Homes by Town. We are in Lakewood Ranch. So as we promised on our last video, this is part two of that series. And we are going to, at the very end of this video, show you what it's like to drive from Lakewood Ranch over to the beach. We're gonna give you some drive times, but we're gonna actually like show you the drive and show you what it's like so that you know when you're thinking about moving here. What's up everybody? My name is Francesca Hanahoe. And I'm Richard Hanahoe. If this is your first time to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a video just like this where we show you all of Sarasota County and we show you what it's like to eat, drink, live here everything you can imagine. So make sure you reach out to us when you are thinking about moving here. You can give us a call, shoot us a text, or send us an email, whichever one you prefer, because when you are moving to Sarasota County, we have you covered. In case people don't know where Wild Blue is located, where are we located right now? All right, so Wild Blue is located in the southeast part of Lakewood Ranch. So literally we're at Lorraine Road yes. and University Parkway. Yes. And we're gonna hop back in our truck and drive around and show you some stuff. But real quick, I'm just gonna show you that right across the street from Wild Blue, if you can see, is the Sarasota Polo Club. So if you're into that sort of thing and you're thinking about moving here, maybe that's something that uh, you know is exciting for you. A lot of people that reach out to us wanna know what is there to do in Lakewood Ranch. That's one of them. All right, so we're pulling into Wild Blue here. They just opened up this entrance yesterday. There was big pipes in front of it. You couldn't get in, but here we go. Really beautiful entrance here over this bridge and everything. You might be wondering, or you want to ask us, is this going to be a gated community? And the answer is going to be no. Just wanted to put that out there. I don't know if that's important to everyone, but if it is, you need to know. All right, so we're going to drive through here today and there's a lot going on. Yeah, there's a <laughs> lot going on. So. There's so much construction going on in here right now. We're gonna be zigzagging through all kinds of construction. All right, so as we enter into the community, as we drive through here today, there's so much going on. There's a ton of construction, but we're gonna zigzag you through it. Okay, so let's talk about the builders that are gonna be building in here because there's five different builders. We're looking at AR Homes, who builds a lot in Lakewood Ranch, and we're also very familiar with AR Homes from the Orlando area. There's Lee Weatherington and John Cannon, who we're very familiar with because they're also building in Everly in Venice. And then you also have Anchor and Stock, and Stock is the developer here in this community. The home sites that they are gonna be building on in here range from 65 to 70 foot lots all the way up to one acre home sites. So Anchor and Stock are gonna be building estate homes on those larger lots. Now we're coming up on some of the models, so we'll start to try to point them out. This is Stock Homes right here. They are opening these because the Parade of Homes is starting. It's been pretty wild in here the past couple days. Like Wild Blue. <laughs> Another Stock floor plan right here. You see the Parade of Homes signs. Here we have Lee Weatherington. This is the Cobalt series. Here is Sapphire by Lee Weatherington. Beautiful homes. So those are the models that are completed in here right now for you to take a look at. If you wanna know the difference between some of these builders, obviously you have to call us so that Richard can break out his knowledge. Yeah, if you guys are watching our videos, my background's builder developer. So very familiar with all of these builders here and how they build and these builders build differently. Really, I can focus in on several of the builders and how they build. When you want to build a home like this and you want someone who looks out for you, you've got to call Richard because he protects our clients. And not only that, but he also is there to walk you through the process and explain what is going on. Recently, we had some of our clients call us because they're in the permitting process and it's been quite a while. So they're a little frustrated because they don't understand what's going on. And Richard has spoken to them several times now to explain what's going on and the process. And they were very grateful, you know, that they had him to explain everything. 
but uh, when you're building a brand new home like this, whether you're out of the state or you're in the state, it's just nice to have somebody who can go through the process with you, protect you and explain everything, and also look into the permitting and all of that, go online and, and tell you exactly what's going on. If you're looking to build a, a luxury home like this, I'm definitely here to protect you. Yeah. This is an AR home right here. So let's talk about this community and what it's gonna have to offer because it's gonna have a lot. Actually, it is going to have several things and uh, I'm pretty excited about it. So not only are they gonna have a 25,000 square foot clubhouse, that's gonna have a theater, a fitness studio, workout classrooms, a golf simulator. And of course, they're gonna have the pool with the zero entrance. They're gonna have lap lanes. They're gonna have a yoga lawn, a putting green preserved trails for you to walk around but they are also building a midway sports complex and that is going to have all of your sports activities your tennis courts pickleball courts basketball courts and that's john cannon right there that's the pandori there there's building. another john cannon there there's another john cannon. cannon my favorite thing about this community is these lake lots i mean look at the view back there yeah so these are on the lake that is worth mentioning the martinique by Anchor Builders. All right, we're gonna try to safely navigate getting out of here, but here's that Pandori again by John Cannon. Stop. It's a beautiful home right there. Yeah, really gorgeous home. Can't wait to show you guys that. So one thing I will say as we're driving through this community is that our clients that are building with John Keen and in Everly, a lot of people have a very busy schedule. And one of the positive things about working with John Keen and over some of these other builders is they have their process extremely streamlined. Our clients were in a hurry. They came here for vacation and they decided to leave early and go back home because we weren't having great Florida weather. So John Cannon was able to sit with them, work out the numbers, have them go to the design center and figure everything out, get the contract all put together in a matter of two weeks. What I like most about John Cannon's process is that he has an office off of Fruitvale and you go to his office, it's one stop shop. They've got their design center in there, they have their architects in there, their architectural engineers. Yeah. You get everything done in one place so you don't have to drive around a certain different offices around town. Yeah, you get it all done in one spot, it's real simple. That's what makes it nice, nice and streamlined. All right, we're gonna go see if we can show you some more houses down here. These are some more stock homes right here. Yeah, so, a nice little trail out to the water right there. Yeah, so there's stock homes and then there's stock luxury homes, just in case you were wondering. We'll talk a little bit about the construction. So all these homes, as you can see, they're block construction, which is, is something that we prefer. Definitely in this area, you want block construction. Builders are doing things a little different. Like John Cannon, what he does is he has a, a steel reinforced poured lentil on top of this block so that when he straps the roof down to your house, your roof's not gonna fly off. They really build these houses great. Now, all these other builders, they're doing different things. Some are doing the poured lentil, some are not, but these houses are all hurricane ready. So just keep that in mind if you're worried about it, this area. And these are more lakefront lots you're looking at, which is what Richard and I feel like, I mean, don't you agree that's the biggest thing about this community that really kind of makes it stand out is you've got these lakefront lots? You have a huge lake here. I mean, you can just, you can see in the aerial above me right now how big this lake is. And this is the, the Florida lifestyle here. You build a beautiful home, have a nice pool and a great view of a lake. If you're thinking, what are the price points of some of these homes? I will tell you that the lot price point starts around 750 and goes up for there. A lot of these lots that you're looking at are a million. It goes up from there and then it's just gonna depend on what builder what floor plan and things of that nature. I will tell you that with Lee Weatherington and John Cannon, it's you can really plan on being at 500 a square foot around, give or take. But just to give you guys kind of an idea, this is really going to be a beautiful neighborhood though when it's all said and done. All right, we're leaving the community now. We're going to head south on Lorraine. And we're going to go check out Shellstone, Homes by Town. Wait, check out, there's a polo club right there. That's a good shot. Yeah. So one of, I think, the biggest perks of living in Wild Blue, or even Shellstone, is going to be that you're so close to the Waterside Place, the new downtown area that's in Lake Branch. 
which I think is really the best one. We're 10 minutes from there right now. The original downtown area of Lakewood Ranch is nice and it has restaurants and a movie theater and those sorts of things, but obviously the waterside downtown area is just really nice, walkable, shops everywhere, a playground for the kids, there's volleyball courts, it's all around the lake. I mean, you just can't beat it. So it's nice that it's 10 minutes from where you're living if you live over here. So we are still on our way to Shellstone and we're gonna go ahead and show you Shellstone, but obviously there's not a lot going on here yet. They've just broken ground. So when we're done driving through Shellstone and showing you the lots in the community, we are gonna take you through Lake House Cove so you can see what this community is really gonna look like. You're gonna get a good feel for the houses and what it's going to be. Now, Shellstone is also gonna have access to that Midway sports complex with the tennis, pickleball, playground, dog parks, pavilion, all that kind of good stuff. So that's gonna be a really big perk for this community. They're also gonna have their own resort style pool and clubhouse and fitness center, event lawn, and all that kind of good stuff. So they have just started releasing home sites and stuff in here. They are still working on their models. And of course, and look, look at, at the lake view. Look at the lake right there. Beautiful home sites over here. Yeah, these are definitely cherry lots as well. When it comes to homes by town, I definitely love their type of construction. Obviously, their block construction. You know, we have some clients that have built in Lake House Cove and they're thoroughly happy with their whole process, their build, and the location. Yeah, we currently have a couple under construction right now. Everything is going very smooth. All right, so obviously, you know, not too much to see in this community yet. I love this little peninsula that they have out there. Those are going to be some awesome lots. If you're wondering about the pricing in Shellstone, they have two different series. They have the Catamaran series, which is going to be their larger homes, and they have the Clipper series, which is going to be their smaller homes. The biggest difference is, is going to be your square footage. The Catamaran homes are on 65 foot home sites, and they also all have three car garages. And then the Clipper series, is on 52 foot lots and they're, that's gonna have your two car garage. So for the catamaran, you're looking at somewhere between 879,000 up over a million. And for clipper, you're looking around 650,000 up to around 750,000. All right, so let's show you what these homes or this community Shellstone will look like when it is said and done. Now, back to what Richard was saying about how he likes Homes by Town as a builder. The thing that separates Homes by Town from some of these other builders is that it is a semi-custom builder and they're really just a very nice company to work with, all of their salespeople and everything. This is a two-car garage, so that's a Clipper series, but anything that's a three-car like that, that's your catamaran or that. So you can see, but uh, yeah, they are semi-custom. They're very nice to deal with. When you go with a typical builder that's a production builder, we'll say, they don't really give you a lot of different options or choices and they don't let you change your mind very much. Any of you that have built a house before with a production builder know exactly what I'm talking about. They wanna charge you for everything you decide to change. But Homes by Town is really nice about it and lets you make a few changes along the way without, you know, giving you a change order every time. Yeah, we've had clients that wanted to add, you know, extra lighting and things of that nature <clears throat> along the build process when they're under construction and and they'll take the time to go ahead and, and get that permitted and get it in the house for you. So there's a good example for you. Now, the homes that we were just looking at there, those are actually, those are gonna be more AR homes. AR was building in here. Lee Weatherington. Okay, so obviously we came in here to show you homes by town, but also wanna show you these homes. This is AR in stock. They were also building in here. So if you're thinking about building in Wild Blue, these are some finished, completed AR in stock homes as well. So just to give you an idea of how that community will look when it is finished. Really some stunning houses. Now that's homes by town right there. All right, so we're just coming out of Lake House Cove and Waterside Place is right across that lake. Got a few more homes to pass by here. 
obviously we're coming out of Shoreview, which connects to Lake House Cove. Shoreview is being built by Pulte. Well, it's pretty much done, but there's a few houses left there. All right, so what beach do you all think we are actually going to? Which one do you think is the closest? Or let me know in the comments what beach is your favorite beach to go to over here when you're in Lakewood Branch. All right, so we're here at Waterside Place. And if you're living in Wild Blue and you want to get over to Waterside Place, you can get here in 10 minutes. All right, we got Deep Lagoon coming soon here, which is a seafood restaurant. We have an Osprey. Very good. There's so much stuff here. Look, at there's a boutique, all kinds of stuff. I'm getting hungry because now I can smell all the good food. <laughs> and also there is a Tim's Wine, and I believe we already passed it. That is actually from Windermere, where we came from, and it's a great wine shop. Got a great brewery right over here to my yes, left. Yes, good liquid. And if you're into ice cream and chocolates, you've got Kilwins. This is a really fun place over here. There's so much going on, so much to do. You just park and walk around here for a while. If you got kids, you can absolutely spend the day here. They got volleyball courts over there. They've got your top lots and all kinds of things for the kids to play. So we are leaving Waterside Place. And for those of you who are interested in how long this takes, it is currently 2.29. And we are just gonna time it out and show you how long it takes to get to the beach and what is this drive actually like. All right, so we pulled out of Waterside Place and we're heading west on Deer Road and we're coming up on Lakewood Ranch Boulevard. And we're gonna go ahead and take Lakewood Ranch Boulevard south to Fruitvale Road. And then we are going to head west on Fruitvale Road. So we're passing the alcove. If you watched part one of this video, we went into the alcove and showed you the meal signature product going in there. You know, somebody just the other day asked me, this is a Vonti being built by Pulte. Somebody commented on our channel about Lakewood Ranch not being affordable. And I did have to point out that Avanti is being built. It's called Avanti at Waterside. It's super close to Waterside. It's on the water over there. And the prices start in the 300s and go up from there. So there is affordable homes in Lakewood Ranch. You just have to know about them. The owners of Lakewood Ranch, the, the land, they wanted to make sure that the developer put something affordable in the project. So that's where that came from. We are staying on Lakewood Ranch Boulevard. That's where we are. And just to let you guys know, you're probably not gonna see it from where we are right now, but coming up here on the right is gonna be some restaurants and things of that nature over here. There's a Cooper's Hawk. Don't know if you are aware of what that is, but it's a really great restaurant, highly recommend it. You got a Dunkin' Donuts. There's some salons in there. So there's a cute little shopping plaza right there, but right here, is where the, there's where the Cooper's Hawk is. And then they're putting an Irma's Tacos in there. We have one by our house in Welland Park. It's awesome, love their tacos. There's a Twin Peaks. Not sure if you're familiar with that place. Twin Peaks has their like really cold beer they're known for and waitresses that wear basically nothing. So yeah, <laughs> I guess that's, <laughs> that's personal preference whether you wanna try out Twin Peaks or not, I don't know. But yeah, here we go. You may be able to see it. Well, I gotta say one thing about Twin Peaks. They have awesome beer. If you're yeah. into beer, they keep their beer chilled like right before freezing. So like 30 something degrees. So there's a lemonade stand right there. F45, cool workout place, you guys. There's your Duncan. There's your Irma's tacos. There's your Twin Peaks. There it is, 29 degrees cold draft beer. I stand corrected. <laughs> and there's your Clive Daniel home. So if you're looking for somebody to professionally design your space when you're purchasing one of these homes, Clive Daniel may be what you want to check out. Now we are currently in. All right, so we are heading really bad west. <laughs> <laughs> We're heading west on Fruitville Road, and as you can see, there's 75. So if you jump down here south of Wild Blue on um, Fruitville, you can get to 75, and you can go north or you can go south. So if you need to get up to Tampa or you want to go down to Venice, here's 75. All right, for all you Starbucks fans, there's your Starbucks right there. Yeah, so if you're living in Wild Blue and you need a Lowe's, there's a Lowe's up here on the left. 
Now, we didn't mention this, but since we're just driving, there is a Publix right outside of Wild Blue. Literally, what would you say, Richard? Five minutes? Not even. It's like yeah. two minutes right off the street. Two this. minutes if you right take outside the, of it. The south entrance yeah. and exit of the community, you can just actually drive across the street right into the public shopping center. So this is what you can, when you live this close to Fruitville, you've got just everything. There's the Taco Bell, there's all kinds of, there's a mattress store, all kinds of stuff in this plaza. Like, so you're you're definitely close to any kind of shopping that you would want. Here's another Publix or the liquor store. You got your Target right over here to the left. Yeah. Tons of shopping on Fruitville Road and places to eat, grab food. Yeah, and we didn't talk about this too. If, if you're in Wild Blue and you want to get to the UTC, which is the University Town Center, that's literally 10 minutes away from Wild Blue. You just jump on University Town Parkway and you're there. Yep. All right, we did have a little bit of traffic because there was some kind of an accident, but we moved through it really quickly. It's 2.43. So we're moving right along. All right, so we are coming up in some school traffic. You know, we're going 15 miles an hour here. So this is going to affect our drive time a little bit. So if you're planning on going to the beach, don't go at 2.30. <laughs> oh Wait, it, it's 2.46 right now. And we'll probably be in this school traffic for about, it's usually about five to 10 minutes. Yeah. So chop that off this drive. All right, so we are still on Fruitville Road, obviously, and we're approaching downtown Sarasota. Yeah, so obviously we're heading west and we're approaching the 301 if you're looking at a map. Yeah, so I guess also if you're interested in knowing how long would it take you to get to downtown Sarasota, to maybe go to Main Street and go to a nice restaurant or go to the marina and go to Marina Jack, we're showing you that as well on the way to the beach. We're heading towards downtown, but uh, we're also heading towards the marina, so on and so forth. Pretty cool, all of the high rises down here. Sarasota is definitely, would be top of my list if I was looking for a condo in Florida that had walkability. Main Street's just to our left right over there. Okay, we're approaching some of Francesca's favorite part of driving in downtown Sarasota, <laughs> and that's the roundabouts. Yeah. So if you're not familiar with roundabouts, there's no lights, and you're gonna it's, wanna be an aggressive driver to it, get through these things. It could be considered a free-for-all, I'm not sure. We are heading over towards the bridge that is going to take us to the beach. So this is the way to St. Armand Circle. This is the way to Longboat Key. It's the Ringling Bridge that we will be going over. So it is a beautiful day. Got some bikers over here. Got boating out there. Really the epitome of Florida living. If you're into paddle boarding and that sort of thing, there's spots right over here where you can park and get in the water right here real easily. This is Bird Key to our left. Very exclusive place to live. All right, so this is St. Armand's Key. So this is the famous St. Armand's Circle. There's Shore, that's a great restaurant. They also have one out on Longboat Key though that has gorgeous views. So literally you could spend a day shopping and eating over here. There's so much to do. So we're just about 32 minutes from Waterside Place right now. Okay, and then here, if you can see on our map where we are. And wow, it is, it's busy. It's popping over here today. I mean, look at this weather, of course it is. So this circle is moving quite slower than the other one. <laughs> Yeah, that two minutes make it four minutes. I know. <laughs> All right, if you figured out what beach you're going to, throw a comment below. We are going to Lido Beach. And we're not the only ones today, that's for sure. We are not the only ones. And you'll see some stunning custom homes right over here that are being built. Richard and I have been watching them for a while over here. And look at this home right here. We've been watching get built. Look at that. All right, so we made it to the beach. 
We are at Lido Beach. Did we make it to parking? I don't know. No. <laughs> but the time is 3.05. All right. <laughs> So I think there's a wedding going on or an event, but we are here. We're gonna quickly get out of everyone's way. All right, so if you're wondering if Lido Beach is just as nice as Siesta Key, I believe that we have answered it for you. It is a beautiful day out here. And somebody's getting married somewhere. <laughs> They're getting set up. Look at these houses and wow beautiful hotels. Miles and miles of white sand beach. And that, if you can see all the way out there, is Siesta Key. It's way out there. It's hard to see on that it's camera. It's way out there, yeah. Well, it was a lot of fun showing you guys Lakewood Ranch. We showed you Wild Blue. We talked about some custom builders in there. Then we showed you the new community by Homes by Town, Shellstone. We even showed you a little bit of Lake House Cove. We drove through Waterside. And now we are at one of the most beautiful beaches that Florida has to offer. Unfortunately, we don't have our bathing suits. No. <laughs> We hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to see more videos like this, make sure you let us know in the comments what type of video or what area you're looking for us to show you. And don't forget, when you're moving here, what do you do? Give us a call, shoot us that text. Absolutely. All right, we will see you guys on the next video. Bye-bye.